Well, we just landed in our next spot, um, which is a mooch docking spot. Um, in the Airstream community, certain Airstreamers will offer what they call courtesy parking, which is essentially mooch docking or driveway surfing. So there are several of us here. That's not always the norm, but because there's a rally happening this weekend, people that are getting here a little early are taking advantage of Mr. Leek's property here where we're parked. Um, he is a master woodworker and we're gonna get an opportunity to see some of his work later this afternoon which we're pretty excited about. Um, but really really cool thing within this little community um, the the courtesy parking and it's not something we've taken a lot of advantage of last year but hope to utilize more this year. Also there is a resident dog here named Sam that is just the friendliest little thing you've ever seen and he uh, he's made fast friends with Madly and Brody. They're having a great time here playing with them. school shop. I went to school up here at Appalachian State. Got a degree in industrial arts. That's how I come I taught shop up at Cassidy County for eight years. I like teaching. I still do a lot of it in seminars and stuff, yeah, but yeah. Uh, I've been in here 35 years. All right, day one of the York South Carolina Silver in the City Urban Air Rally. Uh, we're headed to do the parade downtown, just like we did in Georgetown. Um, we were supposed to leave at nine and they started pulling out at 8.50. Not cool, guys. <laughs> that was a uh, rather stressful little, uh, ah, at the end, trying to make sure we got done in time. But um, yeah, we made it. TJ's a little distracted right now, sorry. The crowd's your ass. <laughs> Not running anybody over. <laughs> Hey guys, we just got parked in York and the weather is awful. Pretty nasty. Yeah, it's all rainy and cold out there. It's kind of the worst weather possible. Well, we just finished up at the York, South Carolina Silver in the City Rally. Uh, we didn't film much of it. Uh, it's been kind of rainy and wet and dark. <laughs> yeah, the weather has been really awful. Yeah, it's it rained. Been, hasn't been very good. Pretty much nonstop all weekend. Uh, and also, it was very similar to the rally we just did a couple of weekends ago in Georgetown. A lot of the same things with the parade down Main Street yeah. and the open house. And so we figured y'all had already seen all of that yeah. recently. Although it's a lot of fun, we didn't want to overdo it on the, the rallies. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, but we have been keeping ourselves occupied in York. We found this fabric in one of the local stores and I've been wanting to um, change out the curtains in the bedroom area of the Airstream. So we left the sewing machine in Ocala in our hometown. So that's going to be interesting. Not sure how those are going to get made, but we'll figure it out. Also, there was a local art studio um, that was doing paintings. So I painted a flamingo. 
that's what it's supposed to look like. That's how it turned out. I think it looks pretty good. Pretty happy with that. It was really cool. Uh, and also I did a yoga class, um, which I haven't done yoga in years. It was so much fun. I loved it, but I think I may have overdone it. <laughs> my, uh, my foot is hurting pretty good from that. So I had to put the boot back on until it starts feeling better. So We've been busy, even in the rain, it's been busy, but we didn't want to bring the camera out um, in that bad weather. So, yeah. We are moving from York today. TJ, tell them where we're moving. We are moving to York. <laughs> so, we had a couple reach out to us that watches us on YouTube, and when the local news was filming about the um, rally. Silver in the City rally happening. They just happened to see our van and reached out to us and said, are you guys in New York? And extended an invitation for us to come stay with them. So we're taking them up on it. Yeah. So we made some new friends and we're gonna go hang out with them for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so very cool. This is another first for us. And look at us, we're finding all kinds of free camping on the <laughs> East Coast. Both of the rallies have been free. Uh, and now we're gonna go mooch stock at our new friend's home for free as well. So, pretty cool. Pretty awesome. So we spent last night at our new friend's home in York, South Carolina. Very gracious people. Beautiful, beautiful farm they have. It's like 30 acres and pond and dogs are loving it, geese. Pretty amazing place. Huge thanks to them for allowing us to come and and uh, mooch, mooch dock in their yard or driveway surf in their yard. Um, but today they brought us out to the Piedmont Medical Center Trail, which is a beautiful paved hiking trail runs along the Catawba River. I got mountain biking out here. There's some BMX tracks. There's a walking trail, obviously. Finally got a sunny day here in South Carolina. We've been fighting rain and cold for the last three weeks. Sun came out today and we took the opportunity to get out here and enjoy the weather, enjoy some hiking. So that's what we're up to. have brought us into Charlotte, North Carolina to the U.S. National Whitewater Center. This place is amazing. It's pretty incredible. A huge man-made uh, whitewater park, uh, kayaks and rafts. rafts going down what looks like a pretty tough course. Yeah, I 
think maybe they do some Olympic training here. Um, I would, and I would assume so. It looks that way. Yeah, absolutely. This place is incredible. It's incredible. They get, they've got all kinds of stuff here to do, though. There's climbing walls, there's mountain biking, a uh, beer garden in the summer, a restaurant in the summer. Right, yeah. On the weekends, I think they have events with live music. And so it becomes more of like just a hangout place, even if you're not interested in maybe doing any of the activities that they have to offer. Yep. Um, and it's free to get in. It's $6 to park. And of course, if you're going to do any of the activities, then you're going to pay That's for that. Yeah, of course. Um, but just to come in and walk around, they don't charge you except for the parking. And it's super dog friendly. A bunch yeah. of people here with dogs. We brought ours today. and That's always a plus for us. We love Absolutely. it when we can bring the dogs along with us. So What a cool place and what a good time we're having. I'm so jealous of people that have cool things like this in their backyard. I mean, this is just, I can't imagine having this to come to anytime you want it. It's really an amazing park. <laughs> are finishing up here in New York just doing my last load of free laundry um, it's been a really nice day when we first got here for the Airstream rally um, it was really rainy and just kind of miserable um, but the Sun has come out and the skies are blue and we've had a really nice couple of days with our host and it's been nice having locals um, because you get that inside knowledge and you end up doing things that you probably wouldn't have found um, on your own. So that's been really nice and they've been so gracious. Oh my gosh, they cooked for us every night. They opened up their barn to us and have let us use their laundry and their showers. Uh, so it's been really nice, but we are moving on today. Um, so, yeah, it was tempting just to just to stay here forever, but time to move on. So hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to follow along, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.